I looked at the total bill and I was just like, oh, all right, I guess I gotta start paying this down soon. When you decide to have a baby, there are a lot of costs to consider. I asked a few of my coworkers, what was the most shocking cost that they weren't prepared for? Mainly food. <laughs> I can't believe how much they eat. I'm always gonna have snacks. They're just eating machines. Let's start with the basics. A quick Google search told me roughly 4 million babies are born every year in the United States without any complications to the mother and child. That's some really good news. But what you may not know are the costs to consider before, during, and after childbirth. You don't realize how much everything adds up. There's like a expense creep that comes out of it. Every new mother needs to consider things like prenatal care, such as vitamins, seeing a primary care physician, and potentially a birthing coach, and even birthing classes. After factoring those in, have you really thought about just how much childbirth itself actually costs. My mom still makes my dentist appointments for me. I can't do this. It is known that healthcare in the United States is significantly more expensive than in other countries. And while consumers typically shop around when considering major purchases like houses and cars, they don't necessarily do the same when choosing hospitals. Here's what I found. To no one's surprise, the United States is the most expensive country for childbirth. Look how it compares to other countries. In the United States, health insurance may cover most of it. However, that still leaves a good chunk of out-of-pocket expenses that the parents have to pay. A standard delivery can cost over $4,000, while a C-section can go up to $5,000. And that's just the delivery. There's also other itemized costs that you may not even be aware of, like how long the doctor spends time with you, or everything that is attached to you, like IVs, is just going to ultimately get tacked onto your bill. Okay, now that we covered all the hospital costs, what about the others? You can't just keep your baby wrapped up in the hospital blanket forever, right? We're talking about baby supplies, like diapers, strollers, cribs, clothing, formula, and more. All these things add up a lot. A newborn baby goes through 10 to 12 diapers a day during the first month. That's at least 300 diapers in the first month. Yeah, I once bought 40 pairs of underwear just because I didn't feel like doing laundry. Anyways, I was curious if there are parents out there raising a newborn frugally. I think what's interesting is like over time, you realize from the first baby that you can control some of that. You can watch out for some expenses through like being savvy with clipping coupons or saving and, and finding sales. If there's something we need, I don't feel like I always have to buy it. Chances are there is a family and they're getting rid of the thing that we decide that we need. In a major city like New York City, there are a lot of Facebook groups that you can join. There's a buy nothing, sell nothing group in most neighborhoods that is just parents giving stuff away. You can easily get what you need secondhand. Can't say the same about childcare though. I had a feeling living in New York, childcare was gonna be expensive. And it almost happens with magic. It's like really expensive. If you have support for your kid, that's great. If you don't, you need to build a support system. And building a support system can be anything from uh, having someone help you with stuff at home. That's food, could be a nanny, could be extra tutoring. What childcare looks like can be so vastly different. Cole, in my instance, uh, was going to a preschool for a couple of years. That support system is expensive. It can be thousands of dollars and it adds up over time. The average the cost of childcare in Manhattan can range anywhere from $1,300 to $2,500 per month. Unfortunately, that is mostly paid out of pocket. I had one experience um, with a babysitter who my husband and I wanted to go out for dinner one night, go to a show or something. She wanted $20 an hour per kid. Doing the math in my head being like $20 per kid. So 20 times three times like five hours. It like, I'm gonna spend more paying you for babysitting than I am on like a Broadway show and like a nice sushi dinner for two. That's something to think about. Where you decide to live and raise your child can have a significant impact on your financial well-being. Let's look at New York City specifically. It's one of the most expensive cities to live in in the United States. Do you want to have access to a backyard? How many bedrooms do you want? Does your child get his or her own room? The average cost of a two bedroom with a backyard in Brooklyn is going to be at least $2,700. All of these things will bump up your housing fee. Luckily, you don't really need a car here in New York City, which also means you won't have to worry about paying gas or car insurance. I think it kind of evens out with the amount of rent that you're paying. Next, will you place your child in public, private, or homeschool? We got my husband's sister, who's a New York City school teacher, to come for like a couple of days a week to help us out. So we pay her a little bit, but not near kind of what is like a market rate. And of course, the dreaded college tuition fee, which by the way, rises year after year. 
According to the United States Department of Agriculture, the average cost of raising a child from birth through age 17 is $233,610. Okay, Oreos are my favorite snack. Do you know how many packs of Oreos I can buy with $233,610? I bought this pack at Target for $3.39. That's 68,912 packs of Oreos that I can buy. <laughs> All right, so uh, food costs. Kids eat a lot. They're just eating machines. Food is the second largest cost of raising a child. They make up 18% of total expenses from birth to age 17. The immense amount of food that our family goes through is mind boggling. They eat a tremendous amount of food. Sometimes I prepare a meal and I don't eat it because I don't know how much they're gonna eat and they end up eating the whole thing. I get through like three kids and they're like, can I have seconds? And I'm like, okay, I guess I'm gonna have salad. The USDA breaks it down depending on your income level and it will differ between male and female. An 18 year old male eats $311 worth of food per month while a female only eats $248. My mom used to hide food from me when I was a teenager. I know I still look like one, but the point is I could have ate the entire Oreo factory all by myself if I wanted to. Every parent's biggest concern is the well-being and health of their child. You're never going to be 100% prepared. Was I ready for kids? Not really. Did I think I was ready for kids? I would say yes. There's just a whole nother level of responsibility and later sleep. You just don't know if you're doing things right. I'm totally paranoid and think there's like always something lurking behind a corner. You don't sleep soundly. You hear something and you're like, what was that? Who was it? Did they fall out of bed? Did they cough? Are they sick? It's estimated that 20 to 30% of children in the United States suffer from a chronic disease or health condition. This creates new requirements in terms of care, lifestyle, and financial responsibility. The emotions that flow through you as your parent flow through you in different contexts. You don't realize how much that stresses you out as a parent. The hardest part for me is just getting comfortable with the fact that you can't control everything. You know, am I doing, am I doing a good job? You know, you can't wrap them in bubble wrap. Control what you can and be patient about what you can't. All things considered, having a child is very expensive, but no parent will ever say that it isn't worthwhile. It's like this dichotomy. It's like the most amazing thing and the hardest thing. And right when you think you're at your wit's end, they do something beautiful or they say something sweet and, and you melt again and it's the most amazing thing in the world. Let me know in the comments below what surprised you most about having a child. Oh, you're asking me if I want kids? No, no, no. I'm gonna get a German Shepherd. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss another video. All right, that's a wrap. I am never having kids and I hope my parents are cool with that. Don't tell my mom.